division. Dave's obsession. Dave's obsession of a previous moment. Follow up. Hey everyone, Dave here, and a few months ago I discussed Gravity Falls, specifically focusing on the very real and grounded relationships between the characters. Since then, the show has come to a close, and I'm not egocentric enough to say that the finale made a point of confirming everything I was talking about, but there were quite a few moments in the finale that I thought were worth examining through the lens of my earlier discussion. My earlier video made the case that one of the central themes of the show is the power of teamwork and the bond of family. Dipper and Mabel are always at their strongest when they work together, while Stanley and Stanford's inability to work together led to their downfall. And in the end, it looks like the entire town has to come together to stop Bill Cipher, and just when it looks like they have a chance, Stanley and Stanford's stubbornness towards each other ruins everything. But Dipper and Mabel's bond remains true as ever, and it's the only thing that gives them another chance. We used to be like Dipper and Mabel. The world's about to end and they still work together. How do they do it? Easy. They're kids. They don't know any better. And in the end, the only way Bill can be defeated is by the stands putting aside their differences, and Stanley making the ultimate sacrifice for his brother. You're a real wise guy, but you made one fatal mistake. You messed with my family. And then later, that same power of family rescues Stanley from a life of emptiness. And in the end, the happy ending isn't just the monster being defeated, it's the family being reunited. The Stan Pines twins being a team again. And through it all, Stanford learns that resentment and isolationism are no way to live, that forgiveness, cooperation, and teamwork will win the day. How do we know Ford learns this? He wrote it down. Looking back at my lifetime of catastroph- should I- should I do the voice? I'll just read normal. Looking back at my lifetime of catastrophic mistakes, I realize one great pattern in all my follies. I thought being a great man meant being alone, apart from the crowd. I bristled at the idea of sharing my accomplishments with anyone. Even when I was given a second chance, I still held others at a distance. I just couldn't get over the idea of myself as the lone hero, and it was Stanley who paid the price. Trust no one. What an absurd and paranoid idea. Trust shouldn't be given unconditionally, but it should be given a chance to be earned. There is strength in having the humility to work with and sacrifice for others, a strength I now realize was in my brother all along. This book is fantastic, by the way. It's not some mere kids activity book tie into a TV show, although I shouldn't be too harsh because Gravity Falls did kind of do one of those also, and it was also a super fun and funny read. But there's no mistaking this for some mere piece of merchandise. This actually fleshes out the story. It fills in what few gaps there were and expands the world of the show. I mean, yes, it's still technically a promotional tie-in. I mean, it almost works as standalone literature, but if you've never seen the show before, you'll probably be really confused why halfway through the tone shifts from dour scientist's catalog of the unknown to autobiography of two hyperactive children. But if you have every episode of the show memorized, you will be amazed at how comprehensive this is. The show's attention to detail and continuity carries over into the book, with even tiny little moments I almost forgot about getting their place in print. When fighting a Gremloblin, use water. <laughs> Only as a last resort, as water will make him much, much scarier. <gasps> who writes sentences like that? Grunkle Ford, that's who writes sentences like that. But it's not just rehashing stories from the show, even though it does fit right in with them. It's telling new stories, untold stories, and some pretty damn intense stories. Not just typical kids tie-in book stories about the importance of sharing, but really intense Gravity Falls stories about interdimensional travel and coming face to face with madness. This could easily not be marketed as a kid's book. I mean, Ford's entries are written in cursive, they didn't expect kids to be reading this. And not to brag, but I did go to a signing, because of course I did, and I got the book signed by Alex Hirsch and Stephanie Ramirez. Turns out the secret to meeting everybody you've ever admired is just live in California. And with this, Gravity Falls has officially come to a close. And maybe there'll be a movie or a spin-off someday in the future, and I would absolutely be there for it, but I don't expect that anytime soon. And I'm satisfied with how the show ended, and I am delighted to have an epilogue in the form of this book. If you love the show, you owe it to yourself to read this. So check it out, and until next time, this is Dave, signing off.